Today I'm going to be reviewing the IKEA high chair. Um, just going to be giving a couple quick pros and cons and my overall feedback. My wife and I have had this high chair for about eight months. We tried a lot of other high chairs and ultimately this is the one we stayed with. So I'll just show you real quick a couple of the features of it. You can see um, the eating tray or table here. One thing that uh, is one of my cons as far as the high chair is that it is possible to detach it technically, but it's very difficult. I've never successfully been able to get it off, but that hasn't been too much of a problem. It's easy to slide the kid in and out without it. There are straps. We took ours out just because probably like most two-year-olds, ours doesn't like feeling constrained and he sits in it pretty well without the straps. The back rest is a separate piece, um, but we definitely recommend it. It actually is in an inflatable balloon inside of there. And you can inflate just the back. You can also inflate the sides. So if you have a smaller child, it'll give a little bit more room there. Let me go ahead and show you the inside of that. So here's the inside of the rest. Uh, you can see we just have the middle portion inflated. The other ones aren't. And they just inflate um, kind of like an inner tube. We haven't had any problems with it leaking. Uh, Still in great shape, it's very high quality. Assembly is very easy, I've slid one of the legs out so you can see how it works. Um, it's just its own separate piece, but as you slide it in to place, it just clicks right into place there and it's very sturdy, even though the legs look kind of thin. We haven't had any problem with um, our son even getting close to tipping over or anything like that, it's very sturdy. Um, the one downside going along with that is that it's not very easy to just put away and put in a corner. You'd have to take all the legs off and even then it's pretty, well, relatively big. So if that's something you're looking for, it might not be, um, you might not love that about it. So let me finish off just with my big three as far as pros and cons. Uh, the big three pros would be number one, that it's very easy to clean. There's not a lot of nooks and crannies where food could get lodged. Um, so it's just a quick wipe it down and it's clean. Uh, number two, like I said, it is very sturdy. Um, I was surprised how sturdy it is because it almost looks a little flimsy, but it really isn't. And number three, the price is very hard to beat. We're amazed at how cheap it was. I think we paid 20 bucks for the everything, including the back uh, pad there. As far as cons, uh, number one, that you can't really take the tray off. And that hasn't been a problem for us, to be quite honest, but for some people that might be a deal breaker. Uh, number two, like I said, it's not very easy to stow away. Um, even if you take the legs off, it's kind of big still. So that might be a downside. And number three, um, and honestly, this isn't even a bother, but I was just trying to think of a third con. The backrest inflatable thing is maybe a little bit funny. I've never seen that before, but it works great and we have no problem with it, but those are my pros and cons and a quick review of the IKEA high chair.